Welcome to the scary show, the home of grunge storytelling. Homesickness. I'm sure you felt the feeling before, the intense pain for home once you've left it for an extended period of time. The missing of parents, siblings, pets. The missing of what makes a house a home. Looking at the meals I was given by my institution, I missed my mother's cooking. Though it wasn't much better than what I make, she put love into it. And that made the food feel delicious. It made it feel like home. It was the monotony of my routine that often brought thoughts of home to the front of my mind. When I was a child, I was carefree. I was free. I roamed the streets after school with my friends and played games till evening. When I came home, Mama would make food and I would go to sleep, content and excited for the next day. I wonder why my friends don't call me. This was before consoles became very popular, so we had to rely on our imagination to have fun. Now. I had changed, wake up early, eat something small, work, go back to my small room, work out there, no equipment mind you, eat if I was lucky, sleep through bad dreams by power of sheer exhaustion. I may sound like an old man, but I'm in my late thirties for goodness sake. Still. I feel the effects of my age, sleep issues, body aches, loss of hearing, you name it, I probably have it. I wish mama was still alive, but she's not, and I miss her. She was the only one I had in this world. Papa had died before I could get to know him very well, but mama had said that he was a great man. and. I believed her. I miss Mama. I miss her despite her upbringing of me. Even with homesickness clouding my memories. I remember how she used to beat me. I remember how I was unable to walk for a few hours after she used a cane on my legs. I remember the day I snapped. I remember the sound of the brick hitting her. I remember the smell of the blood that flowed from her head. I remember beating her corpse with the same cane she beat me with. I remember the police arresting me. I remember the glare of the red and blue lights. I remember my first night in prison. The justicism isn't the best. So I'm still here. I know murder is bad, but killing one person shouldn't land you in prison for more than 15 years. Waking up, eating, working, going back to my cell, working out, sleeping through the screams of my mother in my head, homesickness is a bitch. Tonight's Scary was written by Original Retard. If you enjoy the stories you find here, hit the like button. Think of it like applause at the end of a show. Please subscribe and click the top bell for all notifications so that you never miss an episode. And if you wouldn't mind, share this video so that others can discover The Scary Show. Questions, comments, suggestions? Let me know down below. The Scary Show always answers the fans, unless YouTube hides your comments from me.